Lawyers for Reform Group LRG had called on President Mohamed Wari to ask the matter of urgency remove and prosecute the executive director of the Nigerian Export Import Bank, Nexim Stella Eruwogene Oketete. The lawyers claim he has fraudulently violated the CBN's mandatory statutory law for banking appointments. The lawyers who protested at the entrance of the National Assembly demanded the investigation of the 2019 unimplemented Senate report by the Senator Samuel Anyangu, 13-man-led Committee on Ethics, Privileges and Public Petitions submitted in 2018, which indicted the Executive Director of Nexim. Nigeria and the entire all-rich Niger Delta region, where we have more than a thousand well-educated intellectual dons, like Aruma Ote, the, uh, the Abat Wigwe of this world, to mention a few, compared to the ridiculous and inexperienced Stella Okotete. Consequently, the likes of Stella Okotete appointment are a resultant negative effect of our retrogression and economic downturn as a nation, debasing us as a poverty capital of the world, and most recently announced by the National Bureau of Statistics, rated us that over 90 million Nigerians are living in abject poverty as a result of such unqualified people like Stella Kotete's appointment. The group gave a seven-day ultimatum to the federal government or seek legal sanction against it. ...of Nigerian Act regulation and other four sub-3 of the Senate rule, and by the reason of her lack of capacity not to have served in the banking service for 18 years and must have risen to the level of a general manager within two years, hence she is not fit and merit to continue to hold the executive director of the next Zim Bank. We therefore call on, on President Muad Madubari to act decisively, accordingly, and implement that Senate order resolution of 2019 that recommended our immediate removal. We request that she must be prosecuted for misleading the entire Nigerians over false misrepresentation while all monies end and corruption spree activities such as loan recycling, embezzlement, misappropriation of huge billions of naira and dollars committed during our entire period of appointment be thoroughly investigated and recovered by the Inspector General of Police and Economic and Financial Crimes Commission.